Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been doing some hover effects here, really easy to do. And we've got an image right here today. When you hover over it, nothing happens. But if you go and hover over the little icon there, it's going to slide in a little blurb module. And we're using relative positioning for this today. We've done it before using negative margins and what have you. But we're demonstrating the relative positioning to do this today. Really easy to do, no coding involved. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. OK, once loaded, let's go down where we want to work. Right here I've got a row, the green tab, and it's got three columns in it. Let's just add a blurb module to our third column here. Divi comes standard with all the light grey modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. I'm going to use a simple blurb module for this today. So we can use the icon for a handle. OK. I'm going to leave it just like that. Put your title in there, obviously, and whatever content you want in there. Image and icon. I'm going to use an icon, so I'm going to flip the little icon button to on use whatever icons appropriate to what you're doing or explaining I guess I'll use a little left hander there that's fine as you can see it puts it on the top there I'm gonna have it on the side initially down below if you want to link this anywhere you can put it in here put it in the module link that way the whole module will link if you want to you can link the title separately up there usual rules apply for link target if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window if you're linking off site put it in a new tab so your site stays open okay well let's just pop that icon onto the left hand side so i'm going to go design image and icon image icon placement i'm going to pop it on the left hand side okay and for this hover effect today and a lot of these hover effects where it's image to text the actual image itself is going to reside in the column, not the actual blurb itself. So let's just say what we've got here. And I'm going to go into the row. And we're working on column number three. One, two in the middle, three on the right. So let's go in there and add an image to the background. Color, gradient, image or video. I'm going to add a background image. There we go, and you can choose to have it cover, which is what I like, so it'll make sure it covers all of the available space there. You can change the position, center, top, bottom, left, right. I don't want it to repeat, and image blend normal. Image blend is if you mix a color with it. But at the moment, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna save that for a moment. Actually, before I save this, let's go into advanced. So I wanna go down to visibility and I want to hide any overflow because we're going to push our blurb module over here and I don't want to see it when it's over here and that's called overflow so let's turn the overflow both horizontally and vertically off to hidden there we go we'll save that let's go back into our blurb module now save the row settings and we'll make it similar height to our one over there so we'll just go in, in there and different amounts of writing. You can make it the same, just using a bit of padding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into our design. I'm going to just change that text to light so we can see it a little bit better. We'll do it completely in a moment. And let's make it the same as our one that's over here or similar by using a bit of padding top and bottom. So if we go down to spacing, I'm going to give it 30 and I'll do the same on the bottom I'm probably going to up the bottom one just so we've got the same amount of space I'm going to do 30 left and right and I'm going to add probably what 50 or so on the bottom so the bottom let's make that 80 I'm going to uncheck that so that they're not both the same if you have that checked it'll duplicate it in both for you let's try 80 
that's close enough that's good enough okay now that we've got it the size and shape we want it what we're going to do we're going to scoot our little blurb module over here and just have the icon sticking out and then we'll fix it so that when they hover over the icon it's going to pull the whole thing in so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to go over to advanced to position and we're going to use relative positioning for this today i'm going to put it on the right hand side if i roll down a bit i'm going to use a bit of a horizontal offset so let's get our horizontal offset and we'll flip it over this way and we'll increment now you can do it with picks or you can do it with percentage let's try minus 90 percent it's probably a bit too much and let's bring it back to where it is there like I say you can do it with percentage or pixels get it to where you want it and if you want to you can go and change tablet and mobile styles as well and give them different variants if it's not working for you there but I only want it to be that when they're not hovering over it when they hover over it I want it to be back where it should be so common to most Divi modules Go up to the dark writing here hover over there's a little arrow there hit the little arrow and you've got a desktop state and a hover state i'll just uncheck the responsive one so we've got a desktop state where we want it to be where it is and when they hover over it that wants to be zero so i'm just going to put a zero in there so it's going to be there when they hover over it and there when they're not fantastic okay well I just want to change that icon color so we can see it a little bit better and we can give an overlay to this on hover to make the writing stand out a bit more if you want to so let's do both of those things in the design I'm going to go to image and icon I'm going to make the icon white let's go to our content and for the background again we want to do it just on the hover state so up to the dark writing that says background there's a little arrow hover state I'm going to have a background color of black but I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit so we can see the image through it or at least some of it but still read the writing well there we go and when they're not hovering over it I want to have none so we can just see the image perfect now the time it takes to get from one to the other by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds so I'm going to slow mine down for a bit of drama so to do that go over to the advanced go to transitions and there's a default 300 I'm going to bring mine up to about 750 play with it get it how you want it and my speed curve I like to use is ease in and ease out so we should be good to go let's save our module changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder and there we go there's our little image down there we've got that little icon nothing happens when I hover over the image itself but if I hover over the icon it's going to pop it in with that little background when I take it off it's going to ease back out and because we've got the overflow hidden you're not seeing it when it's over here so there you go guys there's how to create an image to slide in a blurb module on hover using positioning really easy to do no coding involved so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day